have you been progressing? I, I think we talked to you kind of right after maybe your first start, but what have you been learning kind of week by week that's been helping you? Um, just more and more with our scheme, technique, fundamentals, just things I need to do better and whatnot, just trying to focus in on that. That's about it. Uh, things with pad level, some run game stuff. out there and help you guys out. Man, it's it's glad you, it's I'm glad to see him out there just doing it. You know what I mean? He done been through a lot. That's I that's somebody I can call a brother for sure. So just see him out here doing what he loves. Man, it means the world to everybody. How much of a bond did you form with him coming in together as rookies? Uh pretty tight one. We do a lot of stuff extra together. I mean <laughs> like the rookie mini camp and stuff it was it was just me and him and a couple others and we just formed an entire relationship. How tough has this been on him? Huh? How tough has this been on him just you know having to Sit out all yeah, uh, I can only imagine it's been it's been tough. I mean, to not be able to do something that you really want to do and that you came here to do is it's tough on anyone. Well, did you did you know Tevin at all when you were in college? Or? No, yeah. no sir. How has James Daniels helped you on the right side? Has there been a growing chemistry between the two of you over the past months? Yeah, hundred percent. We talk a lot. <laughs> the communication is wide open on the line, whether it's in the game, walking down the hallway, just anywhere. It's my guy. Is there anything he does in the in the middle of a game to help you out on the right side? Uh, just with co different calls and stuff. Just make sure we both on the same page, just with everything. How, how valuable uh, when you take a step back? How valuable it just has the experience of starting bit? Just all this, what, you know, because a lot of the focus is on Tevin, whether he should get, you know, will he be able to get starts or not? How valuable has it been for you to just get this experience at the NFL level? Oh um, man, it, it it means the world of difference. Uh, it's it's very valuable just to have me out there, just to get my feet wet. I want to say just a little bit, and to really be out there learning, going against the greatest competition there is. I know it's only been a few games, but can you point to something that you can do now or handle now or aware of now that maybe you weren't when you started that where, you know, really illustrates the learning experience, like just the way you, you protect, pass protect or, you know, block or what, any part of your job, any facet of your job that you do better now or that you do now that you could not do at the beginning? Um, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, just certain fundamental things, not to go into too much detail, just certain little fundamental technique things that I needed to do that I can do now. Would you, like any player fool you, a defense, you know, a defensive end or something, to fool you that now you now you know about that kind of thing? Or Well, I mean, as far as that, that goes, there's different moves and stuff. It's a lot of different things different players can do. And the way they mix it up, I mean, you got to be ready for everything. In this uh, Cardinals defense, what stands out to you about their pass rush? Man, they're, they're, they have some violent pass rushers that can do a lot of things. Uh, both Golden and Jones, they can they can bend. They can, their speed, power, just a magnificent amount of weapons that they have to do. What was it like your first two starts going against Bosa and then Watt? I mean, two of the best of the best. Um, personally, I didn't try to make it as big as everyone else was trying to make it seem. It's, it's still just football. Just try to hone in on fundamentals and just take it one snap at a time. But it was... It was crazy to be out there. <laughs> Any moment afterwards where you go, wow, I, I kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys for a little bit, give you confidence or anything? Yeah, most definitely. I think over the bye week, just self-reflecting on how things have been, where I can do better, it's, it kind of kind of dawned on me a little bit. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, it's just the way that they rush, just the, the way their movement is so much more – Solid and defined, and then college where you can get a lot of different things. Juan Castillo is generally very supportive, loves his guys. What's the best thing he's told you? The thing that's resonated most about that? It's kind of a review of your play that you feel best about. Um, one of his biggest things is you got to sacrifice to be able to do good and do well and do what you want at some point. So just doing a lot of extra work and just keep putting in the extra amount of hours, and it's all going to pay off at the end. That's the biggest thing to me. What was it like to, to go back home and start that game in Detroit? Uh, it was it was crazy to think about. Something I grew up watching uh, from time I can remember to till now to be there warming up and to really think about the significant excuse me the significance of it. It was it was crazy. Did you have a lot of friends and family at the game? Yeah, I did. Definitely did. What, what was that like? The whole event of that like. 
Oh, uh, it was just, it was like, man, I had, it felt like I had a personal spotlight on me just from everyone that I had watching and whatnot. But it was, it was a great feeling. Did you attend any Lions Thanksgiving games as a kid or anything? No, nope. First one? Yep, first one. Was there anything, did you see anything there? That, I mean, did anything make you go, wow, uh, whether it was pregame, postgame, you know? As far as like the game, yeah, or yeah, I mean, did you see anybody on the sidelines? You went, oh my god, I know that guy from growing up, or from uh, Canada. no, not really, but just being there, like the amount of fans that were there, really on Thanksgiving, it was it was mind blowing. Not even Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. He's every Thanksgiving game. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> were you able to pick out any seventy-five Bears jerseys out in the crowd? Will you repeat that? Were you able to pick out any 75 jerseys out in the crowd? No, I was too many people. I couldn't really see <laughs> who I, I know who had who on. <laughs> make sure they're not Kyle Long jerseys. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you, bro.